Our next film is the uh, 2002 Brazilian masterpiece, City of God. And this movie is a flat-out triumph. It is unquestionably one of the best films ever made. And it is... I mean, there are so few words that can describe how good this movie actually is. It tells the story of Rocket, uh, a young kid living in the slum, in the notorious City of God slum of Rio de Janeiro. He is an aspiring photographer uh, who becomes caught between, uh, caught in the middle of a war between two crime lords, the psychopathic Lil Zay and the uh, revenge-minded knockout Ned. And he has to find a way to navigate this sordid world in order to stay alive and hopefully get out. And what I like about this movie is its structure. How it's narrated by Rocket, but at the same time, you know, he, you know, it's not, chrono it's not you know, chronologically told. How, but it's told in, like... How, like, when the subjects come up, like, for example, he'll, you know, he'll introduce a character, then provide his backstory, then move the story forward, and then he does the same thing for other characters, even if it's, like, three quarters of the way through the film, and I thought that was really interesting, but the most notable thing about this film is its energy, is its life. This movie is packed to the brim and just bursting with you know, energy and a ferocity that is just insane to watch. The acting is exceptional. Uh, it is very, very violent. It is not for children under any circumstances, but it is extremely well made. It's suspenseful. It's funny. It's scary. It's disturbing. It's all these things, and it is a wild ride. Yeah, and this is one of those films that just reminds me to tell people and to challenges me also that we have you have to watch uh, foreign films yes you have to because there are such great films like this one out there um that even though it's not they're not the easiest to find and sometimes yes you have to read the di the dialogue and the screen is totally worth it and you will not regret it with this film is with many um crime dramas you when you get that perspective from the uh, the criminals, you, it's it's you, you obviously sympathize with them because you yeah. spend so much time with them, and in movies like Goodfellas, the way they always kind of bring the moral compass back around is to show you the fallout, you know what happens to right. people at the end when the ride, the fun ride is over. This film, however, is challenging in a way to show that your how much the environment, how much of a pull that is. Yeah, where the, you know these kids, you. Know, there's people, they want to do the right thing, but the environment is such a lure into that criminal world that it makes me think about, you know, our, our inner cities and our youth in that way and and, um, and how we, we have to be sympathetic. And in the scene where, um, you know, there's like an initiation and you see these, you see these children as these, uh, you know, at first, you know, they're, they're, these, they're these tough criminals. And then when faced with death, you know, you see the child come out. That's, yeah. just a, that's just a, that's the scene that stands out the most for me, um, and I think that kind of goes to what I was saying. Bigger picture, which is just um, is that reminder that uh, you know that, the, that these are children that everybody starts off as an innocent, and it's these environmental things that can often play such a role in how they turn out in these criminal aspects. But going back, that's you know um, going back to just the fact of the film, like you said, the, the way um, the editing, the pacing. This, the camera work, it's just, it's a masterpiece. I it know. is. And what I, what I like about this movie is that it's really, it, it's not so much Rocket's story, it's, it's the story of the city of God as a whole, the slum. Yeah. It creates its own little world, which is, you know, as dark and dangerous and terrifying as it is, you know, they're all society's cast offs, and, like, no one pays attention to, that, to them anymore, so they've kind of created their own little Society is troubled and warped as it is, you know, it functions in some sort of small way. It has this sort of equilibrium, you know. Um, which I found intriguing. Of course, 
when things go wrong, that's when things descend into chaos and blood starts running in the streets. And, you know, what's especially you know, disturbing about this film is the child-on-child -child violence. I mean, you see kids, like, young as, like, even, like, six or ten or whatever, they're shooting people, they're dying, you know, and that's really disturbing. But at the same time, this movie earns it. This movie justifies it. It has an opinion on it. It says this is shocking, but this is what happens. And I think that's great. I think it's great that it says that. And it does it in such a beautiful way. And, you know, you know you're right about you know, foreign films that get, that get such a bad rap. You know, that, you know, and for reasons I can't understand. It's like, I don't want to read, you know, while I'm watching movies. It's like, I don't care. I mean, you have subtitles, you know, in a few scenes in, you know, some American movies, so what's the big deal? Uh, I think, you know, that foreign films have just get gotten this, you know, dry and stuffy reputation where, you know, the characters say nothing in a monotone and, yeah, it's just really, really boring. I hate those movies. This movie's not like that. You know, this movie, you know... You know, it ha it's yeah, as energetic and fast paced as any American action movie, and it's a great ride. You know, this movie was actually you know a pretty big hit. You know, uh, as far as foreign films go, when it was released, you know, I don't remember people were talking about it. It was nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Director. Um, but uh, it was somehow snubbed from Best Foreign Film. Which makes absolutely no sense, but hey, it's the Academy, they're notorious for making boneheaded decisions. But that's beside the point. You know, you know, if you haven't seen this movie, there's absolutely no excuse. See this movie as soon as possible. It's a definite four out of four, and it's one of the great, you know, cinematic you know, journeys of our time. Yeah. Four out of four for me, and Mike, as you were saying, like it's 100% not for kids, but the violence is disturbing. And as I had uh, talked about in our equilibrium review, we discussed you know, scenes, the, the killing of animals or children, and when that's appropriate, when it's not. You said this film earns it. It's not in any way glorifying. It's not throwing it away. It's there to tell a story, a true story, much the same way that the uh, the nudity was appropriate in Schindler's List to show yes. the atrocities. The violence here is necessary to show what happens in these slums. Even though this is a fictional story, we know that this mirrors um, some of what happens in exactly. the part of the world. So, yes, four stars. Go see this film.